Hi, welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming, Urban Gardener. This is Debbie. Um, had someone the other day wanted to know what my name was, not just my title. And that's what it is. It's Cheyenne, Wyoming, Urban Gardener, Debbie. That's who I am. And I'm not really a title, but just want to say the title of my videos and everything. Just so everybody knows. And this is a look at my growing room. So I'm kind of going to give an update on my growing room. This is a south facing window and I guess why I'm successful at starting plants in my south facing growing room. Um, I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see everything. Kind of a little packed space because we have our dog supplies here. I have four toy poodles. So we have our dog crates here and all of my dog supplies as well as some tools that are needed for repairs in the house. So the dining room is huge because the house is pretty big. Um, so basically house a lot of things here in the south facing growing room. And anyway, you can see my fuchsia right there in its planter. And that is also housing the basil that I grew all winter. Um, and the basil, I've planted some new seeds in here. And I have a water globe that's in there as well. And all of my plants that I've started so far. Um, of course, I have a lot of succulents as well. Those are mostly my daughters and some orchids and things like that. And I have my amaryllis over here. I'm getting ready to cut the amaryllis back so that way it'll um, go ahead and bloom again. I had it bloom three or four times last summer. I've got my Christmas, we call them Christmas cactus, but I think some people call them Thanksgiving cactus. And it did bloom again. See, it has a bloom here. And then it has some more buds that are getting ready to bloom. Um, surprisingly enough, I wasn't expecting for it to bloom again so quickly after Christmas, but it did. And um, got my lavender in here, some of my recycled clamshells, some other odds and ends. I'm storing some pots over here that I had shown you in a previous video that I have not done anything with as yet. And some other supplies and then got another cactus over here and then some more seeds that I've got planted and there's my artichoke I brought them in because it's cold today we've actually having some snow outside there's the tomatillos still doing great um, just uh, beginning to get their second sets of leaves really and a whole lot of other plants in here some mandarin oranges marjoram things like that and of course here is my growing racks and yes, my plants do lean a little bit. What I do is I turn the, um, I turn them every once in a while, turn them around. So that way they get uh, to standing straight again. I don't have any fancy growing lights or anything like that. I've not had any problems with that. I didn't have any problems last year with it. There's my yellow pear tomatoes and all of my other stuff that is growing. And of course, I've got some of my fertilizers down here um, and some other potting soils for cactuses and things like that. So you can pretty much see everything that I have going on in my growing room. So I wanted to kind of update everybody because I had someone asking what the growing room actually looks like. And if I go back uh, again, you can see that the windows are pretty tall. Um, I wouldn't say they're super huge, but they do go from the ceiling all the way down to almost the floor probably about two feet left remaining of not um of wall space before it starts with the windows but the windows are pretty tall and it's basically south facing that's our garage out there that you see through the window um four car garage and one of the garden plots you see this garden plot here this is where i grow my potatoes and corn um, basically my excess plants, some of the squash, and then there's my grandson's little garden um, bed that I had shown you in the previous video. And then, of course, here is the main garden. It wraps around the house and goes around the front. And then, of course, I've got a couple of other little small plots. There's one out there right in front of the Traeger, as you can see, the garden shed over there. And then I have another garden plot over next to the fence, and I've got to repair the fence. The fence is kind of just falling apart. And we've had some issues with, you know, some of the neighbors and things. 
um, there's an apartment complex in front of us. And sadly enough, we do have people that are not respectful or courteous and they either tear up the fence or we have people that come through the yard and will hop that chain link fence that's in front there um, back and forth and they also tear things up too. And right now I'm just cooking some supper up. I've got some fried potatoes going on with some bacon in and also some chives and rosemary and I've got some scallops as well. They were some really nice looking scallops at our local grocery store so I went ahead and got those. And I'm just cooking those up right now in kind of a shrimp scampi sauce. So I've got that going on and that's what's for supper tonight. And after supper we're going to have some pineapple upside down cake. This is a cast iron skillet um, pineapple upside down cake that I had baked yesterday and is absolutely delicious actually two days ago absolutely delicious so we'll have some of that and as you can see I did bring my plants in I did go ahead and trim the fuchsia back a little bit you can already see new growth coming in um, some new little shoots there it'll kind of shoot off from the sides it won't grow back from the main sections of the stems that I had went ahead and cut but it will fill out and be thicker and then of course I did bring in my peppermint, mint, lemon mint, and all of that as well because it is cold outside today. Um, if you can see through the windows, it is snowing a bit. And this is an ivy plant that my daughter had gotten and had decided to put it in a hanging basket. We do have a front porch with some hooks on it where a uh, porch swing was supposed to go. And we just haven't put the porch swing in there, so we've been hanging some little wind chimes and also this ivy plant. And as you can see, it goes all the way down to the aloe. And then the aloe plant, I've actually got some babies coming in on it. I'm not sure if you can see it, maybe a little bit there. So this one has actually produced babies twice. This will be the second time. And I also brought my rosemary in because it's just too cold out there for it. Anyway, um, this is just basically an update on things growing in the south-facing windows. And let you know what I do kind of day-to-day. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for notices on new videos as they come out. And we shall see you in the next one.